Pablo Picasso, who hasn't heard of him? Even if you're not into art, chances are you know who he is. Born in Malaga, Spain in 1881, Picasso briefly studied art in Madrid in 1897 and then in Barcelona in 1899. When we think of Picasso, I bet you're thinking Cubism. After all, that's what he's most known for. What was so special about Cubism? Picasso changed how artists depicted the world by using shapes like squares and triangles to break down objects and people. He also portrayed different views of things all at once. We can see this in his painting, Head of Woman, Jacqueline, which he painted sometime between 1961 and 1962, when he was 79 years old and totally in love with his young new wife, Jacqueline. He captured her distinctive features, high cheekbones, enormous eyes, and dark straight hair in hundreds of works of various styles between 1954 and 1972. Head of a Woman appears to be the culmination of a series of 10 wash drawings made on November 12, 1960. The three elements I will focus on are line, color, and light. Let's begin with line. When it comes to line, think of Picasso as a storyteller with his brush. The bold lines he uses aren't just outlines. They're like characters in a story expressing the woman's emotions and personality. Some lines may curve gently, like her lips and chin, suggesting kindness or softness, while others may be sharp and jagged, seen in her hair and eyebrows, hinting at tension or intensity. By weaving these lines together, Picasso crafts a narrative that draws us into the woman's world, inviting us to feel what she feels. Next, we have color. Picasso's color palette is like a magical paint box filled with an array of hues that evoke different moods and atmospheres. In this piece, black and white are the predominant colors. His use of the shade of turquoise for the background further enhances the mood of calmness and peaceful tone of the painting. Lastly, let's dive into Picasso's use of light. Can you imagine a spotlight shining down on the woman's face, illuminating her features with a warm glow? Picasso carefully manipulates light and shadow to sculpt her form, creating depth and dimensionality. Notice how the light catches the curve of her cheek or the arch of her brow, bringing her to life with a sense of realism and presence. Picasso perfectly blends areas of darkness that adds mystery or intrigue, inviting us to explore further and uncover hidden truths. As I observe this artwork, it strikes me that Picasso has infused a deeply personal essence into it, much like the feeling of utter completeness expressed in the phrase, you complete me. Picasso seems to be channeling profound emotions through this piece. Looking closer at the facial features, a fascinating duality emerges. The right side exudes a sense of strength and masculinity with the placement of the nose and the large ear, suggesting a gaze of love. Conversely, the left side presents a softer, more delicate side, suggestive of tenderness and intimacy. The eye is big and bright, the eyebrow delicate and the lips seem to whisper sweetness. The positioning of the hand further enhances this sense of affection and embrace, evoking a strong connection between the right and left side, which then infuses into one. The next piece I'm going to talk about was made by Francis Kupka. He was born on September 23, 1871, in Okno, Bohemia, which is now known as the Czech Republic. He was a Czech-born French pioneer in abstract paintings. His masterpiece, Irregular Forms, Creation, stands as a testament to the artist's groundbreaking journey into the realms of abstract art, pushing boundaries through his innovative use of line, light, and color. Through a lively mix of these things, Koopa takes you on an exciting adventure of seeing and making a story that goes beyond just showing things that, as they usually seem. First and foremost, let's get into the world of lines. In Kupta's masterpiece, as we look at the canvas, we're hit with an array of swirling lines and dynamic shapes that seem to dance across the surface. These lines aren't just random squiggles. They're the essential ingredients of Kupa's creative world, gently directing our gaze and whisking us away on a fantastical adventure. Some lines are bold and assertive, carving out distinct forms and contours, while others are delicate and heavenly, hinting at hidden depths beneath the surface. It's as if he's using lines to sketch out the very essence of creation itself, inviting us to think about the infinite possibilities of the universe. Now let's turn our attention to the play of light. Light gracefully dances across the canvas, creating a breathtaking spectacle of luminosity, illuminating the various shapes and forms with radiant glow. 
Shadows dance and flicker, adding depth and dimension to the piece and infuses it with a sense of drama and dynamicism. Kupka's manipulation of light creates a mesmerizing exchange of highlights and shadows, evoking a sense of wonder and awe. It's as if we're witnessing the dawn of creation bathed in a warm glow of cosmic light. Finally, let's explore the vibrant world of color in Kupka's artwork. From bold primaries mostly at the bottom of the canvas to subtle pastels up at top, Kupka's palette is a rainbow of hues that dazzle the eye and ignite the imagination. Colors mix and merge, crafting lush textures and pleasing differences that seem to breathe with vibrancy and liveliness. Each color seems to vibrate with its own unique rhythm, adding depth and intensity. He uses color to evoke emotions and stir the soul. In closing, as we think about the swirling lines, radiant light, and vibrant colors of this remarkable artwork, we're reminded of the boundless possibilities of the artistic imagination and the eternal beauty of the cosmos.